Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch with a brand new game engine for you. It is called Evergene, and uh, well, it's not actually that brand new. What you see in front of you, this is Evergene, Evergene? I'm not actually sure which one of those two is correct, so I'm probably going to switch between them throughout this video. This is it, and if it looks a little bit familiar to you, well, that is because Evergene was once known as Wave Engine, and I dubbed Wave Engine the best game engine nobody uses, and really, that's a fair point, if I'm honest. But what we've done is they've rebranded over to Evergene, and a few things have been updated. We'll get back to what exactly is new in just a second, but first, let's show off some more eye candy. Now, this here is the uh, particle samples running. Uh, you see a number of different particle effects here. Once I actually zoom back up and find them again, so you see the various different particle systems this engine is capable of. There are a number of examples out there. So as you see, you have particle effects, you have physics, reactors, and so on. So here are your emitters. Here is the wind in action. As you will see uh, down below, all of the things are pretty much traditional component-based approach to things. Uh, so you have a base entity, and then you can add various different nodes on top of it. Um, let's see if I can do it this way. No, it's down here. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, here are the various different... Uh, options that are available. Um, it is your typical C-sharp powered game engine, and it's actually quite mature, quite uh, quite long running at this point. Wave Engine has been in development, I think about 10 years now, and so they ultimately decided to rebrand it to Evergene. So this one is running on Windows only, and that's not gonna change much because it actually requires, and this is an interesting choice, Visual Studio 2021, uh, which I actually literally just did a video about yesterday. Is it 2021 or did they go with 20? 2022, sorry, 2022, which is literally brand new last week. So that's a brave choice, I got to say. But uh, here we are back at the website, evergene.com. And we're going to take a look at some of the details about the engine. So started life as Wave Engine 10 years ago. Uh, we, just, we learned a lot in the journey. We are now ready to move forward this project to the next level. That's why we decided to rebrand the technology to Evergene. And I got to admit, in all honesty, not a big fan of the name. It's pretty generic. I actually like Wave Engine better. Uh, with Wave Engine, uh, we created a unified graphics platform that supports the most popular APIs such as Vulkan, DirectX, OpenGL, Metal, and WebGL, running on desktop, mobile, web platforms, uh, using the latest performance and enhancements in .NET 6, which again literally released a week ago, uh, and integrating the most used UI, WPF, Windows Form, SDL, GTK, Coco, and um, the recent WinUI technology launched by Microsoft. In terms of highlights it's got a new launcher it has a new .NET 6 template with c-sharp 10 support again launched last week visual studio 2022 also new uh, they added a new ray tracing api a new documentation website a new package system uh debugging wasm web apps a new entity prefabs new post processing graph tool amd fidelity effects super resolution support win ui application support uh, there is add-ons coming, IM GUI extension was added in, and GPU queries API. So again, if you're interested, it will target Android, Linux, Mac OS, iOS, web, in addition to Windows platform, but the development tools themselves, well, since you require Visual Studio 2022, uh, you're pretty much stuck on the Windows platform here. So again, it now supports .NET 6 and C Sharp 10, which I'm not going to tell you came out last week because I think I've mentioned that already. Um, but it actually, it targets them in a good, like it actually adds ARM64 support, for example, which was just added in Visual Studio 2022. Do check out the video if you're interested in what else happened there. Uh, there is the new launcher. Um, so your initial download will ultimately download this. When you first create a new project, it will download an instance of the game engine. Uh, you can also get access to their samples here. Uh, they have done uh, new documentation available as well, which is nice. They have added in that ray tracing support uh, packages and so on. Uh, new entity prefabs, uh, core feature we're working on adding interesting new features. In this version, we support the prefab creation and instancing in the scene, post-processing graph tool, uh, and so on and so forth. So one of the interesting things is we do have these uh, add-ons upcoming, and I have a feeling this is how they're ultimately going to be monetizing the, the platform. Uh, Azure Remote Rendering has been added. Uh, no Assist GUI uh, has been added as well. Uh, CAD format support, so definitely on the commercial side of things. Uh, MRTK for cross-platform XR applications provides a set of building blocks and Evergene developer on XR platforms such as HoloLens, Mixed Reality Headsets and OpenVR and Bing Maps 3D support. So I got a feeling, again, they're going to monetize the, uh, these add-ons because as far as I can tell, the engine is free to use. Uh, so that is the new Evergene, also the uh, artist formerly known as Wave Engine. Uh, again, if you're interested, the samples are available on their GitHub page. You're going to notice they're actually all broken down into their own um, 
areas. So you can go on over there and um, pick the one you want and then just close the clone the repository. Oops, I didn't mean to actually open up the image. That's going back. It doesn't matter. Basically, go to the right repository, clone this um, source down, and you are good to go. Uh, so here, this again is uh, Evergene. It's uh, it's an interesting game engine. It's nice and clean. Uh, in some ways, it reminds me most of all of probably the Stride engine in terms of the aesthetics and the look. Um, it is sort of what you expect. It's got uh, multiple asset import formats. So I don't know if they break down their formats here. No, they don't. Uh, but number of different file formats are supported there. Uh, kind of got a component-based approach. Behind the scenes, your project is uh, just a Visual Studio project. You can check that out via Open C Sharp Editor. This apparently wants Visual Studio 2022, so let's give it a go. One of the nice things about this demonstration is Visual Studio 2022 uh, does have faster project loading, so there we go. We are now in. As you see, your project is pretty straightforward. So here is the code in action. So my application, this is the hub of your app, pretty much all boilerplate code created for you. Your actual scene file also has a CS file so you can add new scripts as a component in the engine and you control your game logic using uh, you know the C sharp that we all know and love at this point in time. Uh, you can also extend the editor so if you want to create your own editor class or expose properties back out to it, very straightforward process as you can see from this code example. And then you've got the platform specific stuff which in theory you shouldn't have to touch for most platforms anyways. So most of your application is over here. You also have this, which is sort of a, a mapping of the contents that are in, in the assets. So this FBX, for example, it maps it to the GUID file. So when you're uh, exporting something out, you can access it and handle it in your code via uh, this automatically generated uh, Evergene content file, which again is auto-generated. Don't edit this file. That's not the purpose behind it. What you are here for instead is this guy and probably mostly this guy. So you'll have a scene per scene and you can do custom uh, logic in that as well over there. So one last look at it, this here is Evergene. Um, again, it's it's Wave Engine, so I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail on it. You saw there is a decent amount of new, there seems to be a bit of a graphics glitch going on here, but uh, yeah, that's it. So um, a couple things here. What do you think of the uh, name Evergene? Uh, what do you think of Wave Engine slash Evergene in general? Is there something here for you? Or are you kind of content with the status quo, the engines that are out there? I uh, I like competition. I like more options being out there. Uh, I think this is a, a viable choice. It is a mature option. Um, I just don't know particularly why you would select this over Unity or Unreal Engine in the world that exists right now. Uh, but... Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below. I think originally this was more targeted at um, scientific computing, education, and those kind of markets. Uh, but it, it does have all of the aspects you would need for game development. Just again, it's not going to have the size or the scope of a um, Unity engine because it's got like one one hundredth or one one thousandth of the development staff. But for what it is, it's an impressive engine. I do like it. I just don't know why I would ever choose it. And I'm not that keen on the new name, if I'm honest. But I would love to hear your opinion uh, down below. And that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.